publicly condemns the terrorist attack in Tunisia and renews the call for combining efforts to eliminate terrorism. Syrian Arab army units destroy two booby-trapped cars at the entrance of Kafat village in Hama, eastern countryside. Obama admits that ISIL is the result of America's invasion of Iraq. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our news for today. Syria has strongly condemned the terrorist attack which occurred yesterday at the Tunisian National Museum, expressing sympathy with Tunisia and offering its deeply heartfelt condolences to the relatives of the victims. In a statement, the Foreign and Expatriates Ministry said, This criminal act proves again that terrorism belongs to no particular religion or state. Therefore, the ministry added, the Syrian Arab Republic renews the call for combining regional and international efforts according to international legitimacy resolutions to eliminate terrorism which threatens peace, security and stability across the world. The U.S. Security Council has unanimously condemned the terrorist attack carried out by two armed Tunisians at Bardo Museum in Tunisia, which claimed the lives of 22 foreign tourists and two Tunisians and wounded about 42 others. The Council underlined the need to bring the perpetrators, organizers, financiers and sponsors of these reprehensible acts of terrorism to justice. Japan on its part affirmed that at least three Japanese nationals were killed and three others were injured in this terrorist attack. In the wake of the criminal act, a number of foreigners started to leave Tunisia amidst fears that they would be targeted by similar terrorist attacks. Units of the Syrian Arab army destroyed two cars loaded with explosives which tried to attack a military point at the entrance of Al-Kafat village, foiling terrorist attempts to infiltrate into the area and inflicting heavy losses upon them. In Aleppo, northern countryside, Syrian Arab army units took control of a little Madafi and a number of surrounding farms adjacent to Handarat, eliminating a number of terrorists. In Idlib, a Syrian Arab army unit killed and wounded members of a terrorist group near Kafarmid in Aruj Meadows, destroying one vehicle equipped with heavy machine gun. In Daraa countryside, units of the Syrian Arab army destroyed two terrorist dens in the western al Ghariya. Another Syrian Arab army unit inflicted heavy losses upon terrorists near Al Bawari factory near Al Hamidiya village in Al Qunaytira countryside. In Homs eastern countryside, Syrian Arab army units foiled an attack in the village of Hosh Qbaybat, Al Asi in Al Rastan countryside and destroyed their armored vehicle east of Jub Jarrah. Meanwhile, units of the Syrian Arab army killed and wounded a number of ISIL terrorists who tried to attack a military point in a Sukhna area east of Palmyra in Homs countryside and dismantled a number of explosives. In his first acknowledgement of the linkage between ISIL terrorist group and the American administration, U.S. President Barack Obama stressed that ISIL is a direct growth of Al-Qaeda in Iraq, which came into existence as a result of America's invasion to that country. In an interview, Obama pointed out that ISIL came into existence as an unintended consequence of the war in Iraq, adding that ISIL is directly connected with Al-Qaeda organization in Iraq. Obama expressed his confidence that the international alliance will succeed in expelling ISIL from Iraq, if slowly, as he put it. 
uh, ISIL is a direct outgrowth of Al Qaeda in Iraq mm -hmm. that grew out of our invasion, which is an example of unintended consequences, which is why we should generally aim before we shoot. We've got a 60 country coalition. We, we will slowly push back ISIL out of Iraq. Uh, I'm confident that will happen. Ahead of the centennial anniversary of the Ottoman Sultanate's massacres against the Armenians, more than 40 American Congress members have called on Barack Obama to recognize the massacres perpetrated against the Armenians and brand them as an act of genocide. Obama had promised during his elections campaign for the presidency in 2008 to recognize the genocide which the Armenian people commemorate on the 24th of April every year. The Ottomans had perpetrated systematic crimes against the Armenian people in 1915, which claimed the lives of one and a half million people. In Iraq, army troops continued to attack ISIL terrorists in several areas. Iraqi sources reported that security forces eliminated terrorist group west of Tikrit. The Iraqi warplanes targeted the terrorists then killing a number of ISIL gunmen and destroying their weapons, in addition to targeting a chlorine factory and other positions in Al Ambar, killing at least 57 terrorists. Teachers' Day is commemorated today with more determination on the part of the teachers to continue performing their crucial role through bringing up new generations who contribute to the brilliant future of their country. Today marks Teachers' Day in Syria. Teachers commemorate the occasion with more determination to continue their noble message and perform their crucial role in building their country through creating more generations who contribute to this great objective. Despite all the attempts of sabotage and acts of destruction made by the terrorists to undermine the education process in Syria, the teachers in this country have pledged to confront those criminal acts through carrying out their national duty and consecrating their constant presence at schools, institutes, and universities offering all kinds of education that would promote the advanced liberated thought. Today we have a very important occasion which, have, uh, which is the Teachers' Day that we must celebrate. Teachers' Day represents the best of all. Uh, it symbolizes uh, the candle which lightens the way to our children. A number of teachers have affirmed that they will continue their efforts to bring up a generation that will strongly hold on to eliminated thought and knowledge which leads to a bright future. As a teacher, I can feel how hard and uh, how hard is this job and what kind of devotion it requires. So I'd like to thank all my teachers who had a big impact on me during all my life. And uh, finally, I'd like to pray to God to save our country and uh, to bless the souls of our great martyrs. Teachers in this Syrian crisis hold a very important position in the society. They can help in building more educated and more tolerant community. When teachers take care of their students academically and socially, we can build a very strong generation for the future. On their part, a number of students pledged constant attendance at schools in honor of the sacrifices of their teachers. Happy Teachers Day. I'd like to thank all my teachers for their efforts and their encouragement. Thank you, teachers. Uh, happy Teachers Day. Uh, we hope uh, good life and uh, peace to our country, Syria, and to our uh, president, Dr. Bashar al-Assad. Happy birthday, my teacher. I love you. Happy birthday to every teacher in Syria. I love you, my teacher. 
Teacher's Day is an occasion for Syrian teachers and students to voice determination to continue building a brilliant future that lights the way before all their fellow citizens in their beloved homeland, Syria. With this, we conclude our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, syriaonline.sy. Now to latest business and market news with Karun Kirkjian, but after a short break. <laughs>